Now with variational autoencoders, things work a bit differently. Instead of mapping the input to a single point, the encoder converts the input into a probability distribution that we chose to be a Gaussian. Essentially, the encoder transforms the input data into the parameters of this Gaussian, namely the mean, mu, and variance sigma. Instead of representing our image as a single point in the latent space, it's represented as a Gaussian distribution. From this latent distribution, we sample points at random, and the decoder converts these sampled points back into the input space. We can then compute the different parts of the elbow loss and backpropagate it through the network. This is where the reparameterization trick comes in. Instead of sampling directly from the Gaussian distribution, we introduce a random variable, often called epsilon, to handle the randomness outside of the network. This trick is actually pretty simple but very powerful. First, we sample a random point from a standard normal distribution. This is our variable epsilon. Then we scale it by the variance of our approximated posterior distribution and shift it by its mean. By using the reparameterization trick, the process becomes differentiable with respect to the mean and variance. This trick allows us to backpropagate through the entire network, enabling us to train the VAE end-to-end -end using standard gradient-based optimization techniques like ADAM.